How y'all doing today? First, I want to thank the quarterback club for allowing me to be here and speak to y'all today. Uh, and I know Coach isn't here, but I want to thank him too for allowing me out the office in the midst of bowl preparation while everybody else is at, at the office working right now. Uh, kind of a little about what I do. Uh, I'm an offensive analyst, so I'm a real big numbers and statistical guy. So a lot of times I'm doing a lot of advanced self-scouting or advanced scouting on other opponents. So I constantly look at what we do well and what we don't do well, and then what other teams do well and what they don't do well. And then I give a formal presentation to the offensive staff uh, before the week starts. So once a Wednesday hits on a normal game day, a game week, I'm already on to the next opponent, uh, getting ready for that opponent. So last week I didn't have anybody to break down, so I was 100% naked the whole time. Um, it's a great time right now to be a Tulane Green Wave. Uh, being a former Tulane athlete, uh, I got so much joy and so much excitement when I saw the look on all our guys' faces uh, once we became for us after right that tough one against Navy because that Navy ball club is a very, very tough team. And I don't know if anybody in here has faced the triple option before, but it's a little different than facing the spread. Our defense played a hell of a ball game. Um, and then our offense performed when it needs to perform at the end. And then that clutch catch by Charles Jones and throw by Justin Miller at the end to, to seal the win and go for two at the end was something phenomenal. And I'm just so happy for our guys. And I'm a little biased because, like I said, I'm a two-lane alum. And we haven't been to a bowl game since 2013, whenever I was playing. Uh, in the New Orleans Bowl against UL. So just to see those guys have that opportunity to go back and all the things that go along with going to the bowl is great. Um, we finished the season on a very high note. Uh, out of our last five games, we finished four and one to get bowl eligible. And that first, right there, that starts with Coach Fritz. He's done a good job of going in there, changing the culture, establishing what it means to be a winner and to win with class and, and win with pride as well. Uh, I always mess I always mess with them whenever I tell them that I say, Coach, like you can't see it because you haven't been here, but I see a difference in this team and how they prepare, how they go about their business on the field, even off the field in the classroom as far as uh, getting people to go to class, doing their homework and the graduation graduation rate. So Coach Fritz has done an, ex an exceptional job with what he's done over there. Um, and so right now we're just kind of sitting here waiting to find out where we're going to end up going for a bowl game, who we're going to play. So. All the guys, matter of fact, we had a team meeting this morning and they're all excited right now, waiting. To, they're all asking questions, hey, who are we going to play? Where are we going to go? And my guys, I don't even know yet. Once I do, I'll, I'll let you know for sure. But just to have the opportunity to go out and represent the city of New Orleans and also to represent Tulane University on the national stage in bowl season is an opportunity I think that everybody is ready, ready for. Uh, any questions? Yes. So can you break down what the potential bowl options would be? To be honest with you, I've seen a whole bunch of different things and I could not tell you. I know we've uh, been linked to, there's two bowls in Florida and then one in Frisco and then opponents, uh, different ones, but it, it depends on what happens in these next few days with the conference championships and things like that. Coach, talk about the difference that Justin's made since you guys went to him at quarterback and what changed to, to go four and one with him at quarterback? Well, it was a decision that Coach Coach Fritz made. He thought that the offense needs a little change up. So with Justin back there, it's, he's a little bit different than Jonathan. He, he's a more of a pocket guy. He throws the bet, throws the ball uh, with confidence and poise, and, and you can tell he's kind of used to it. Um, and the kind of just the different overall calming presence he has with the receivers and the offensive line and the running back. So they're real confident in what he can do and his abilities. Uh, one thing I do like about Justin, he's very cerebral, so like he understands the game. So on the sideline, I know Coach talks about, like when you're having a conversation with different coaches, that he can tell you exactly what he saw and you better relate it to the coaches so the coaches can make adjustments in game. In, in game. And that's one thing I think that's the biggest difference that he made. Thank you very much.